Hello, children. How wonderful to see you. Today, we are learning to solve addition word problems where you see addition in the real world. Are you ready? Let's begin. Question 1. Emily has six dolls. Amanda has two dolls. How many dolls do they have all together? I give you some time to find your answer by yourself. Let's find the answer together. Emily has six dolls. Amanda has two dolls. We add six and two to find the number of dolls they have all together. So, six plus two equals Eight. We conclude Emily and Amanda have eight dolls all together. Question two. Five ducklings are swimming in a lake. Three more ducklings join them. How many total ducklings are swimming in the lake? I give you some time to find the answer by yourself. Let's find the answer together. Five ducklings are swimming in the lake. Three more ducklings join them. We add five and three to find the total number of ducklings swimming in the lake. So, 5 plus 3 equals 8. We conclude total 8 ducklings are swimming in the lake. So, we've solved some word problems. Notice these keywords all together. Total, they tell you to add. Often, you may see other keywords that also tell you to add, such as some, in all, both and combined. Now, take a break for a while and then we move on to question 3. Question 3. Andy has four toy cars. Brian has some toy cars. They have seven toy cars in all. How many toy cars does Brian have? I give you some time to find the answer by yourself. Let's find the answer together. Andy has four toy cars. Fran has some toy cars. They have seven toy cars in all. We write in numerals. We say four 
plus something equals seven. Recall the addition facts we learned in lesson six. We can quickly find four plus three equals seven. So we conclude Fran has three toy cars. Question three is one type of word problems where the sum is known and we have to find a missing number. You can use a question mark or a box for the missing number. To find the missing number, ideally recall the addition facts. Otherwise, you may take more time to find the answer. Well done! You will finish the lesson. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any question, don't hesitate to put it in the comment box. I'd be very happy to answer. Now, goodbye and see you soon.